sunshine and we're cutting hay. This is the first hay cutting of 2024. Let's go. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Sure doesn't seem like we should be cutting hay already. But here we are. This is our big hay field that we usually always cut first. Some of it's volunteer, but a lot of this is from our drilled ryegrass. So we wanted a really good stand. And we're pleased with what it looks like. We're cutting fairly early this year. Sometimes it's the end of April before we actually get our first cutting in. But first cutting is always your best yield. Obviously, when we come back and cut the ryegrass the second time, there won't be quite as much. The quicker you cut it, the more you're likely to cut on the second round. Let's put this bad boy in C range and see what she can do. We always do about a round or two or three and then we come back and just check, make sure that we're getting a good cut. Which the blades are in good shape, so they should be cutting good, but the one Eric's pulling is cutting a little bit high. The song's on in there, you know, like to tip your hat to the man up on the tractor. International Harvester. Yeah, yeah I just heard that one. Eric takes me a minute to go, you know, your only entertainment you've got out here is your texting and uh, the radio. He told me to turn on 93.7, they were throwing some jams. So far they haven't missed. We got more room to go down. See, it's between three and four. I think it needs to be let out. Like I had pulled it back up or something. So you can see your depth gauge right here. That's the, this is a centimeter, that's inches to leave the height of the grass. And I guess I had swapped this to other tractor and raised it up, but I just noticed it wasn't cutting. Go ahead and watch that bar go down. GoPro to Eric, so who knows what kind of footage we're going to end up with. We're moving right along. I think our plan is to cut half of this hay field today and possibly half of it tomorrow, which is Sunday. Next week's a busy week and we don't want to get too much hay on the ground at one time and it dry out because we're going to be going in several different directions, but we feel like we can manage half of it at a time. Uh, we will have some extra help. Eric's dad is going to be helping, and then uh, JL, some other folks, should be stepping into and fluffing, raking, hauling, all the good stuff. So the way we're cutting, we're both Eric and I are both cutting the same little section, but he has pulled off somewhere. Don't really know where. Maybe taking a nap. So Eric's on the 7220 tractor. That's the one that um, has been in the shop. But so far it's been working all right. I'm on this uh, Eric's dad 6300. Our 7200 is back at the farm, still hooked to the bush hog. You won't hear me say this often, but 
the hay field and cutting hay is one place where I actually prefer a two-wheel drive tractor. And that's about the only time. It's, but uh, with this two-wheel drive tractor, especially in these hay fields where there's lots of turns like this, Turning radius on these two-wheel drive tractors is a lot better. Oh, there's Eric. See him coming around the corner. And he probably jumped off of this patch here because it's getting to where some of these turns are a little bit tighter. And on that four-wheel drive tractor, a lot of times you just have to swing out and then come back into your row. And I'll show you again what I'm talking about. With these two-wheel drive tractors and this tighter turning radius, um, there's less of the maneuvering and turning around. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but if you have to turn around four or five times within a little patch every single time, that starts adding a lot of time to your cut. So at the end of this, little run it's pretty much come to a point so I'll probably just raise and, and pick up and turn around like I was talking about like I don't like to do if I don't have to but even with the two-wheel drive tractor I could probably still make I tell you what let's see what we can do on this point here's my point here let's just see See how that tractor turns, pulls that cutter in. Obviously I'm running over something that I've already cut. So that two-wheel drive tractor, it's got those little bitty front tires. And I can just turn a whole lot sharper and see how that cutter comes in pretty much right beside me. That's that gyrodyne hitch that it's got on it that allows it to do that, but it cuts down on a lot of that turning around that Eric's having to do when he gets into these tighter little sections. I got a 90 degree turn coming up. It's hard to film and make these turns and cut the hay, but I'm trying, y'all. I'm running a Coon GMD 3151 TL. If you cut hay, or if you're going to be cutting hay this year, let me know what you're cutting with. Leave us a comment. I always like to see what people use. If you're a Coon fan, John Deere fan, let us know down in the comments. One of the favorite days of the year, April 13th. There's Benito. My philosophy, my wife can tell you this, I tell her all the time, buy two of everything. These two cutters make it nice today because at any time we could go from two to one. You just don't want to ever be caught going from one to zero. Buy two of everything. You get what you pay for. I told her to put it on my headstone. All you farmers understand. Alright guys, about two and a half, a little less than two and a half hours later. We're almost done with half of it, so that's where two cutters comes in nice. This is probably 45 to 50 acres. We'd be able to cut everything in about probably five, five and a half. Conservatively, I would say five and a half hours. That's pretty good. 
because this land, this isn't pool tabletop level land. This is rolling hills, coves, cutouts, armadillo holes, hang on, take Tylenol, beat you to death kind of land. But we're proud to be able to cut it. So we're gonna wrap this up and then we got a lot of stuff coming up. We got catch outs coming and hay coming and a lot of stuff a lot of stuff to do so maybe we'll be able to put a few videos out for you guys and by we I mean maybe Ben can edit and mostly film and put it together for you guys. I'll just work. Alright, we'll show you some hay walking across. Most of this hay or most of this ground we drilled with ryegrass and it was covered with chicken litter and it was um sorry I'm trying to drive with one hand here. Most of it was covered with chicken litter, but it was covered when it was wet. So a lot of these hills couldn't get on everything, and you can definitely see where chicken litter went and where it didn't go. You don't have to question the fertilizer value. Um, where the litter was not at, even when the spots were drilled, there's very little grass there at all. So thank God for chicken litter. All right. You guys hang on. When we get this finished up, hope all of our chickens are gonna be gone or going out right about the time we get all this uh, hay cut and finished up, hauled, wrapped and all that. And so, we're gonna jump right into cleaning out our chicken houses, all eight chicken houses. We've uh, decided to go back with sawdust and shavings and um, it's been several years since we've done a full clean out. Issues with high mortality have led us to make that decision of, all right, we gotta get these things cleaned out. And hopefully we're gonna have some good results, but uh, y'all stay tuned, because we'll be We'll probably have several hay videos and then we'll also uh, be covering that. And then we've got another hay field that's just about ready to be cut. It's right beside where we live. Probably not quite as big as this one here, uh, but the hay's looking really good. Uh, we fertilized probably 85% of it. There was a little bit we never did get to run on with chicken litter. I don't know if y'all saw any of our videos where we were spreading some chicken litter, but uh, the hay field was one of the spots we hit. Y'all be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave us a comment, all those things. They help pump our video up, get more views, and then it just helps us in the long run. We're we'll parked down here in our little parking area. Since we're gonna cut the other half tomorrow, we're just gonna leave the tractors here. I was telling them earlier on camera what I told you and Nicole and my wife to put on my headstone. Do you remember? Um, you don't act like you don't remember. I've said it multiple times. You say times. a lot of stuff. Yeah, but I've said this one a lot, a lot. Need a hint? Yeah. By two. Uh, by two. I knew you knew it. Yeah, by two. I was trying to think of the... Um, Anyway, by two, by two of everything. And, good Lord, son, by two of everything and you get what you pay for. Oh. Uh, 
drill it in up here. Drill it in. Buy two of everything and you get what you pay for. Okay. It was nice to have two cutters today, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I had it, we started a little after two o'clock, now it's five. So two hours and 45 minutes to cut half of it. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. And it's not flat either. We could have it all laid down by about eight. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little before. I'm a little quicker than you.